one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Roll call. Mr. Alt. Mr. Bystow. Mr. Carson. Here. Mr. Fry. Yes. Mr. Mr. Kolkowski. Mr. Porter. Yes. Mrs. Rhodes. Mrs. Smith. Here. Mrs. Love. Here. For the record, Mr. Alt and Mrs. Rose did indicate they would not be present tonight. Citizens' comments? No, none. Okay. Moving on, minutes, approval of minutes. The board will be asked to consider the approval of the minutes of the June 27, 2019 special final budget adoption voting meeting and the minutes of the July 11, 2019 discussion voting meeting. Accounts, fund accounting check summary. The board will be asked to consider the approval of the July 2019 fund accounting check summary. General fund expenditures and revenues report. Uh, the board, pardon? Okay, right now there currently is not one. Okay. June 2019 treasurer's report. The board will be asked to consider the approval of the June 2019 Treasurer Report. Um, board reports, do you have anything? Um, I do not at this okay. uh, my, next week. Okay. Old business? Oh, wait, I, I do. I'm sorry. I, I, uh, we have uh, spent a lot of time uh, looking into a textbook adoption for our uh, math series. And we had a group of teachers that have uh, been diligently uh, working with the administration. We, the administration uh, reviewed, brought in multiple textbook companies. We reviewed the textbooks. We brought teachers in. They reviewed the textbooks. And now we are at a point where uh, we would like to have a discussion about an adoption of a particular uh, series. And uh, Mr. Krieger has volunteered tonight to come on behalf of the committee that has been evaluating the teachers and Mr. Clara will be assisting him uh, just to give their perspective as to the process and, and, and what the, the potential choice would be. So, Mr. Krieger, I, I will turn things over to you, Mr. Clara. And thank you for joining us tonight, Mr. Krieger. Good evening. My name is Rick Krieger and I teach third grade math. I've been asked to give a brief summary on procedures taken by the district in purchasing a new math series. Math teachers K through 5 were invited to take part in this process. Those teachers who were interested formed a math team. Our responsibility was to choose a new math series. The administrators contacted various reputable book companies and had all the materials sent to South Mornin for the team to scrutinize and evaluate them. When the team of math teachers met to examine the textbooks, Mr. Mashi explained that it was our decision and that we were the experts and he would support our final decision. The team evaluated four textbook companies, Math Expressions by Hardcourt, Envision Mathematics by Pearson, Math in Focus by Singapore Math, and McGraw-Hill My Math. Each company provided teacher manuals, student workbooks, teacher resources, and technologies. The district provided our team with evaluation sheets with very specific criteria. For example, were the authors of the textbooks well qualified? How current were the copyrights? Were they field tested? Were the manuals teacher and student friendly? The criteria the team focused on the most was how well the textbook's concepts aligned with the PA Common Core, which is South Warren's math curriculum. After evaluating and rating each of the four math series presented to the team, we determined that McGraw-Hill, my math, aligned best of the PA Common Core standards and would give our students the greatest opportunity to succeed. There were also key elements in the program. For example, McGraw-Hill provides a three-tier system of intervention to help support our struggling students, along with a program called Redbird Math, which challenges our above-average students. The team announced our findings and decisions to our administrators. They then scheduled McGraw-Hill representatives to meet with our team to familiarize our staff with their program, answer any questions that we might have had, and walked us through an actual lesson. 
The representatives also pro provided us with their contact information to reassure the staff that they will help us with anything we may need, including additional training. The math team believes that McGraw-Hill, my math, will challenge and engage our students, help teachers and students communicate mathematically, and allow teachers to customize the program to meet their classroom's specific needs. On behalf of the whole math team, I would like to take this opportunity to voice our appreciation to Mr. Clara and Mr. Masha, as well as the school board, for having the confidence and trust in us in making such a major decision on purchasing a new math series. The whole process was a total team effort. Thank you for your time. Mr. Clare, could you expand as to why right now we are only limiting ourselves to the K-5 to uh, math series and, and, and explain that process? Yes, sir. Uh, the series that we have currently, uh, which also is McGraw-Hill, has a copyright date that was ending this year, which means that we can no longer buy the reproducibles or use the electronic material. Uh, they were no longer renewing those services, which means that if you want to use them, you have to buy an updated model. We decided to look at everybody and not just continue with that service and buy the next set. Uh, and we did not want to bias our teachers' opinions at all. So we saw those groups first by ourselves, and then we invited the, the teams in to meet with the teachers. And then we compared notes. And it was funny, the teachers, and we both felt like this was the best fit. Uh, it's familiar to us. We feel like it's uh, suited to meet our needs. Uh, there were some other programs that had some really neat things, but I'm not sure that those are the kinds of things that we felt were as valuable as the things that McGraw-Hill was going to provide to us, especially as it relates to intervention. Uh, grades 6 through 8, we'll be looking at those things going into this year. And for the high school, uh, they'll be looking at a, a series also coming into this year, but they need more time, uh, particularly in the high school where you have uh, some singles in classes, a calculus class or, or a statistics class or any of the other maths that you have to look at individually rather, rather than as a team. So they're going to need a little bit more time to, to study those things. But we're, we're very pleased with it. I, I can't thank Mr. Krieger and his team enough. They were very, very tough. They asked a lot of good questions. Uh, they wanted to know certain things. They made sure they got their answers. They couldn't have been more prepared or more professional as it relates to this. Dan, Sir. Are there any other local districts using this particular? There are. Uh, I want to say Greensburg-Salem is using it too. I can't remember off the top of my head, but there's at least one or two around here that we had asked them about who were also using it. Uh, this is one that we're familiar with. We've been using it uh, for a while, but that wasn't the determining factor. It wasn't just comfort with something you know. They really did some nice things and, and brought about some changes that I think from last series to this series, other schools, including us, would have wanted to see. Okay. Thank you. And you know, we are in the process right now, Dan has, uh, Mr. Clare has reached out to uh, McGraw Hill and we are in the process of receiving quotes right now for the K through five uh, books. And then we will, we will proceed from that point. So hopefully next week, uh, I will be able to have additional information. I, I, I wasn't able to get that at this point in time because we're, you know, we're working with the textbook companies, but I do want to add and, and correct me if I'm wrong, Mr. Clare, but, uh, if we adopt it, if we approve the adoption of this series next week, on Friday we could submit the uh, PO for the books and we can have them in teachers' hands for the start of this school year. So our kids will be that coming in with books and the teachers will have the, the, the material and the curriculum at the beginning of the year. That's I'm, I don't want to put pressure on anyone, but I'm just fully disclosing you know, all information at this point. That's correct. Thank you, Mr. Krieger, and thank you, Mr. Clara, for uh, all the hard work you've been doing. Uh, there's no old business. Moving on oh, to new. Solicitor. Oh, solicitor, do you have a more <clears throat> next week? Um, next week, um, I will be bringing to you uh, and uh, getting it available into board docs in advance of the meeting uh, a resolution uh, for you to decide to um, permit. East Huntington Township to enter the property at Ruffsdale in order to do uh, some analyses of uh, conditions on the property um, concerning uh, different physical aspects of the property and um, then uh, they would be able to do some initial um, studies uh, in relation to the property um, with the goal of trying to have them complete this initial phase by October 31st. 
um, depending upon the results of that, they would then be in a position to um, enter into more formal uh, kinds of communication uh, to uh, go forward with an agreement to uh, create a possibility, not, not a possibility, but an actuality of a subdivision that would allow the um, rear fields uh, to be in the roadway to be acquired by the township and the township to uh, be able to make it a public road, um, which would be a uh, benefit for uh, the citizens and taxpayers of both districts. So the initial point in the decision tree here is for them to be able to go do some initial analysis and then depending upon that, um, they will be making a decision to communicate whether they uh, want to have uh, formal interest in pursuing such a concept uh, or not. And likewise, the school district would be able to move forward in, in that direction uh, if it is feasible. Thank you. New business, health care staffing agreement for school services. Uh, the board will be asked to consider an agreement for health care staffing between South Moreland School District and Interim Health Care of Pittsburgh, PA, for the 2019-2020 school year to provide skilled nursing services for a special needs student while at school and during transportation while attending Clareview School. And uh, Mr. Heitz, you correct me if I'm wrong, but uh, we are currently working with the interim and with the family of that to try to see if that those costs can be covered by their insurance coverer provider would that is that is that correct that is correct is that what we talked about before Ben? So that medical access building or well is that something that, different? that's a that's something different mr heitcher would you We are going to yeah. aggressively be pursuing access building. For this particular agenda item, this is to cover our basis in the event that the insurance company denies the request to pay for the services of this nursing professional. I can tell you that we have two students coming into our school district from early intervention programming who have both have needs for skilled nursing. In the one instance, the insurance contract for that child has expired for the, for the current year from when they initiated the request for service, so they were able to submit the claim and it was approved. So the, we do have one incoming student for the kindergarten school year who will be attending school in one of our buildings for whom that skilled nursing service has been approved by that insurance provider. This is a separate insurance provider and the community care facility, um, or pardon me, the interim health care facility has explained to me that they are fairly certain that they will have approval for this service as well. We as a school district have provided them all the information they requested of us to pass on to that insurance agency for their review. The problem is they cannot submit it and get an answer until this other child's contract expires, which doesn't expire until September 7th. So they cannot submit until two weeks prior to that date. So interim will submit the claim for the insurance about the week of August 30th to see if, or August 23rd, to see if we can uh, have that service covered as well. I can't guarantee that it will be covered, uh, and that's why we have this on the agenda item, so that in the event that it gets denied, we have funds in place to pay for this child skilled nursing, which is something that is needed and we are required by law to provide. So if all goes as hoped, uh, we'll have a similar outcome as we've had in the other child's case where the insurance company pays for that service. Thanks. Thank you, Mr. Hutchins. 
Attachment B, business associate agreement. Uh, the board will be asked to consider attachment B, which also goes along with this interim health care of Pittsburgh, as referred to as the business associate. District-wide police and security. Oh, wait. Oh, I'm sorry, skipped one. Yearly contribution St. Vincent prevention project. The board will be asked to consider the yearly contribution with St. Vincent's for the 2019-2020 school year and then a yearly cost of $1,020. This is an annual contribution for the Westmoreland Drug and Alcohol Commission. The partnership is between Southmoreland, Westmoreland Drug and Alcohol Commission and St. Vincent's College Prevention Pro Projects. And we have done this for a number of years. This is providing uh, intervention and, and prevention for our students in the schools. Monarch agreement for provision of special education student. The board will be asked to consider the approval of an agreement between South Morning School District and the Belfair Jewish Children's Bureau for the provision of a special education student who resides at Monarch School in Ohio for the 2019-2020 school year at a tuition cost of $88,709.40. Personnel, district-wide police this, and security. This, I'm sorry, this student has been with us, right? Yes. And, and once again, Ms. Trotz, you correct me if I'm wrong, but this student has needs that are so great that we are just not able to right. accommodate them here, and, and we're, we're having a hard time finding a place that has sufficient means to accommodate his needs. <clears throat> district-wide police and security. The board will be asked to consider the approval of Mark Price as full-time district-wide school police and Taylor Gephardt unarmed as district-wide school security. The board is also asked to consider the approval of paying the school police supervisor slash safety and security coordinator the rate of $28 per hour, armed full-time district-wide school police the rate of $23 per hour, and district-wide unarmed school security the rate of $13 per hour. <coughs> School dentist. The board is asked to consider the approval of Dr. Jennifer, Jennifer Swivula Gill as a school dentist for the 2019-2020 school year at a fee of $1 per exam. School physician. The school is asked to uh, extend a continuation of Excella as a district school physician. This agreement renews yearly unless either party chooses not to continue. I have a clarification on something, please. Yes. On, on the unarmed school security, is that person to be functioning much in the way uh, as a kind of like a watch person like they used to have in the past and, and not going to be permitted to issue citations or make arrests or do things like that? They, they cannot issue citations okay. or make arrests. So then we don't need to see... Uh, court approval for this kind of a no, position. It's no. just school security. It's literally that. I just want yes, to make sure it, that yes. that name wasn't like no, we, covering something that was going to be a problem. And correct me if I'm wrong, Mr. Keeper, but we wanted to clearly define where the security guard would be. Our unarmed security officers for the school are Ken Stewart, Matthew Slate. Okay. The, the only two, there were, uh, actually there are three, the only three in this district that are, that are able to carry a uh, firearm would be Mr. Keeper, Mr. Price, and uh, Alex, uh, the, the, the third. And we already covered uh, all three yes. with yes. the yes. petition to call the police court. Right. So we don't need to do anything further. Okay, thank you. I'm sorry. I just okay. want to be clear about that. Tenure granted. The board will be asked to consider granting tenure to Kendra Cowan, autistic support teacher at the middle school. 2019-2020 ESS addendum to the ESS support services. The board will be asked to consider to modify an addendum between South Warner School District and ESS support services LLC for the services of substitute teachers and staff. Effective July 1st, 2019, the following positions and rates are revised in Exhibit A. Position, substitute personal care assistant, 
which is an hourly position at $10 per hour. The bill rate will be $13.86, and there, uh, for the substitute teachers, there is no lunch deduction. You said 10, but it says 10.50 here. Well, there's, yeah, there's. Is it $10.50? It's 10, it's 10.50. It is, on board docs, it is $10, but it should be 10.50. Two thousand nineteen, two thousand twenty new fall sports coaches. The board will be asked to consider the approval of following coaches for the fall sports for the two thousand nineteen, two thousand twenty school year. Middle school football, Roderick Hall, assistant middle school coach, at a supplementary salary of two thousand seven hundred and forty four dollars for the two thousand nineteen, two thousand twenty school year. Jason Fletcher, volunteer assistant middle school coach. In high school football, Tyler Melners, a volunteer assistant. 2019-2020 fall sports supplementals. The board will be asked to reappoint the supplementals for the fall sports coaches for the 2019-2020 school year. 2019-2020 extracurricular supplementals. The board will be asked to consider the reappointment of the attached list of extracurricular supplementals for the 2019-2020 school year. 2019-2020 list of school bus drivers. The board is asked to consider the approval of the list of 2019-2020 school bus drivers as provided by Quest Transit. Resignation as headband equipment hauler. The board will be asked to accept the resignation of Larry Greenwald as headband equipment hauler and grant administration permission to post the position. Citizens' comments. Hey, can we back up a second there to the, um, back to the uh, fall or the yeah, fall supplements? We. Um, Sports or extracurricular? I'm sorry, the uh, sports. Okay. Would it be the fall supplementals you're talking yeah, about? Yeah, fall supplementals. Yeah. Do we do we add back in like the, is this something? Is this something new or is this something we already had like here? Because I remember last year we cut a lot of these positions. Do we bring them back in? No. The the reason why I did this is uh, I wanted to uh, make sure that the board and the public is aware of all our supplemental contracts and, and we needed to get some of those approved. I, I wanted to make sure that they were approved. You know. uh, there is one, and I think maybe in, in answer to your question, uh, under the new fall sports coaches, there was a middle school assistant coach that was added. Did he get paid last year? Oh, I don't know. Mr. Swink. Did, did the middle school um, assistant coach get paid last? No, he didn't get paid last year. Now we're paying $2,700. What's well, being recommended? Why? I, I'm under firm contention. I, I think every time we send our, our middle school sports out there with one coach, I think we're setting our students and our coaches up in the district. Well, I can see him after. We didn't pay him last year. Now we're going to pay somebody this year. We're trying to keep the budget, you know. That's why it was cut last year, I think, to keep everything low paid, low key. Well, the, the monies were in the budget this year. Okay. Mr. Marnell, am I, am I correct in it? That's correct. And I provided everyone a copy of the budgets this year, so. Any other discussion? that's it I just want to make sure we didn't add anybody in it wasn't in there last year I know golf so we got a couple golf coaches we didn't have any last year I don't think 
we yeah, we, yeah, but there, yeah, this we is did. a budget thing. Yeah, we, we have one, I think, right? No, yeah, we just have a male and a female. We fought to save the program, and we ended up with one, now we have two. We, we had a, for golf, Mr. Swink, no, we had a girls' two. golf coach yeah. and a boys' golf coach, correct? All those, all those coaches that you see, there was no extra added. Mm -hmm. Those were all the same coaches that were there last year. No high school coaches were added. The only ones we were looking at adding was a couple of middle school that were single coaches. Okay. All right. I just saw two uh, head coach and assistant golf coach. I just, just stuck out. Um, all right, very good. Yeah. Yeah, and working with Mr. Swink, I was. Uh, we made sure that uh, you know this was the same list that we provided last year. Yeah, and then um, okay, thank you. Anything else? <coughs> Just <in time. coughs> I tried my very best to understand what Mr. Patonic was saying about Roughsdale, but forgive me, I couldn't figure out what you said. You said there's somebody's going to inspect the Roughsdale property and do an analysis or studies. Can you tell me again what you said? Does the board want me to repeat it? Um. They want the right to go in. Who's they? The township, if they were to be interested. Oh, East Huntington Township. Yes. And they have made a request of you to go in there and study the property. Is that right? If we want to have formal discussions with them and move forward with investigating all options, which was discussed at the last meeting, they would need to obtain certain amounts of information about different physical aspects of the property. And in order to do that, the school board would need to pass a resolution granting them permission to go on to the property. In did, its simplest form, that's what it is. Did they tell you what they are worried about or what they want to look at? Um, I don't know every single thing. Yeah. Um, I, I would think that some of the things that they would be doing um, would be um, what the things that I'm aware of. Well, let, let me put it this way, because I'm aware of these kinds of things, would be a uh, analysis of turning, turning movements, uh, analysis of the uh, leach field, of the general site, of the field, of the building, um, of the preservation and retention or moving of the Veterans Memorial, and um, something that's called a topographic survey. Um, and basically just to be able to go in and look at the property and see what's there, what isn't there, what the conditions are. Uh, in order to obtain some initial information for um, their engineer or that type type of person to be able to give them advice. What is their purpose, Dave? Are, are they want to buy it? Are you, you going to give it to them? What, why are they doing this? It would be towards the view of them being in a position to enter into negotiations to obtain uh, ownership of the fields and the roadway that leads into the property. Mm -hmm. They are interested in taking this field because that goes against everything that I've heard them say so far. It would provide information for them to be able to make a decision as to whether it's worth pursuing further. Huh. Thank you very much. Any other citizens' comments? Motion to adjourn. Motion. Mr. Carson, second.
Mrs. Smith. All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Being adjourned.